Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video I'm going to work with a create method. We are going to create a new user and for that I'm going to work with a bootstrap model. So go to the get bootstrap documentation uh, select the version 0.46 components uh, model and here we have a uh, example model I'm going to copy this one so copy this model and open the user index blade and I'm going to add it in the end. Here is a card header. Here is the card. I'm going to add it just here. And the button. I'm going to add it when we have the create here. And change the text here to be new user, for example, save and refresh now. Okay, now we have new user. If I click, we show the model. Okay, go to the GitHub. And here we have Laravel Employees Management Repository. Go and find the resources, views, users, and create blade. And I need to copy the form. So copy the form here. Okay, copy that. And in the model body, I'm going to add it the form just remove the button we don't need the button here because we have the button in the model footer so here store user and we have a form remove this also remove the CSRF token and save go here refresh new user and we have the user name first name last name email and password okay now i need to open the user index class and I, this i'm going to open in the right And here we need to add the properties for the form. So we have username, the first name, last name, email and password. Okay, and now in the user index blade, when we have form, we have a username, a value, and I'm going to change this to be wire model for the username, and I'm going to remove that one out of focus autocomplete and so on and also the old and here we have a first name change the first name to be first name like this like like we have in the user index 
and also remove the, all of that. We don't need. We need only the wire model. Wire model. The same thing for the last name. Last name and email wire model for the email and uh, for the password wire model password okay save and now I, when I click the button I want to call the method in our user index class and for that I'm going to use wire click event and it's going to turn the store user method okay save this and go here and create that method store user we don't need parameters here and here first uh, if you go to the Laravel live wire I want to make a validation and here is how we can create uh, make a validation add the rules and before the you call it okay so I'm going to copy that And here, past, we have username, email, and username is going to be required. Copy and paste. We have a first name, a last name, also the email and the password. Okay, remove this one. Now here we can do is this dot validate and after that the user create and the user name sorry username like this is going to be dollar sign this username and copy and paste this is going to be the first name okay last name uh, email and password but password is going to be I'll cut this and hash make and the value here is, is this password okay after that I'm going to do this reset is going to reset all the fields and what happened ah yeah i just assign we need to do it like this save and uh, go to the dashboard to refresh 
new user. I'm going to work with fake filler and we don't store the user. Just, yeah. We make a request for every key we pass here. So if we go here and properties, we have a lazy, lazy updating. So why model lazy or why model diff differ? And I'm going to copy this and add it to our properties here, where we have wire model. Add it to defer. Okay, save and come here, refresh. New user, fake filter, nothing happen, store user. And we don't store any user. And why is that happen? So we have rules for the username, first name. Yeah, user create is going to be user name like this and last name like this. Okay, save, refresh again. New user, fake builder, store, refresh. Again, nothing happen. Okay, password, email, username, first name, store user, wire click, wire click store user, and why is not storing? data this email this and where is the problem Headers message. Preview the last name field is required. Email data. So we have why we don't have the last name field last name username and last name because we don't add the wire model here wire model dot defer save and refresh store new user fake filler store user and we have a new user but the problem is we don't close the model so if i store new user fake filler store user and yeah we have the user but we don't close the model and for that, I'm going to work with the, uh, if you search for browser, uh, dispatching browser events. And here we can do, copy this, go to the store user method, add the browser event and give it a name. I'm going to give it a name close model. Okay. 
just close mode and not anything else save and now in the javascript copy this and open the mineblade.php which is the default layout add the name here so close model and I not I don't want to alert but I want if you go to the bootstrap and options we have the option to hide yeah we have this hide the model copy this one and paste it here and if you go here what is what we have a model name and this is example model just copy this and paste it here save and refresh new user sorry new user fake filler store user and now we close the model okay this is how we can uh, store a new user with Laravel Livewire and Bootstrap 4. In the next video, I'm going to work with uh, edit and delete uh, users. All the best friends. See you in the next one. Thank you very much for supporting me.